What's going on beautiful people? So this is obviously the latest tank setup and it looks so good. It's one of those ones that's got off to a flying start. The last two we've done actually have just been perfect. I've just done a water test. I don't need to do anything. I don't even need to change the water. I mean, that makes sense because the filter is all cycled. Loads and loads of plants as well that's already grown well. So we're all good. So that is that tank, really settled straight away. I love it when that happens. And to be honest, it happens more often than not now, just because my skills keep getting better and I just keep trying to improve on every tank we create. But there is one tank that isn't settled and neither is the pet that's in there, a very special pet. We've got to do something cool for him in here. Him or her, probably a her, I don't know. <laughs> so here we are in the old studio look. The only tank left is this one to move, but it's all cleaned out and Timmy's tank, which is, oh, I just, <laughs> just, <laughs> so hard to film and see where you're going at the same time. Anyway, where are you, Timmy? Timmy? <laughs> there he is. Hello, buddy. Right, let's get you sorted out in here. I know it looks quite cramped, but they actually like all this sort of bogginess to everything and uh, just be able to push through it all. They like a lot of the sort of moss and look, like messiness to like push through. I mean, that's a bit too tight in that tiny area, but the rest of it's fine for him. Come on in, there you come. So what I need to do though is break down this tank so I can rebuild it a lot better. It's long overdue. So about the reflections, hang on. Yeah, I need to break down this tank so that I can uh, move it and, and rebuild it. But in the meantime, we need to set up something temporary so that Timmy's comfortable and we don't have to uh, like rush the whole process. <laughs> Look at him, he's very happy. Um, so, Size-wise, guys, he's still a tiny little boy um, or girl. I'm expecting boy because girls tend to be a lot bigger with turtles. Um, he has got a kind of spiky tail. It's not big, big, and he hasn't got big claws. So that's the thing. Maybe he's non-binary. He I identifies as nothing. He He's an it. it, it, to me, the it. But yeah, we'll get him something set up temporary um, that will just be comfortable for the time being. And to be honest, this tank here will do just fine. Remember, Timmy's Timmy's like that big, so uh, he doesn't need a huge amount of space. We can go halfway, a little pile of rocks, keep it clean, put a ton of moss in for him, and then enjoy sort of swimming around and playing and all of that. Now, the good news is we've got like a million rocks to choose from. <laughs> uh, I might just go for some rounded rocks, why not? It's uh, probably easier for him to climb up on if it's rounded because he's got that flat uh, shell. Sometimes spiky rocks he can get a little bit clunky on. <laughs> he's very clumsy. I'm saying he again, aren't I? Never mind. I'm not going for anything like too fancy, but at the same time, you don't want to leave gaps all around it because Timmy can like crawl in and they've got quite strong paws, they call them paws, and that will just push rocks down and we're going to get something smashed. So I will put some gravel on that down as well, but it should be absolutely fine. I'm going to make sure, I mean, these rocks are huge. I don't think he'd be pushing them out. Sand, sand is what I'm going to be putting in the bottom there. Um, gravel can be bad because turtles can actually like try and swallow it and that could get stuck inside them. So down here in the box, there it is. I've got this sand here I'm gonna use because it's not really one I'd use like for decorative purposes and like a skate tank. It's very orangey, so I think I'll just use that. And we don't need a huge amount. It's just like a dust in for him to be able to get some grip. Oh my goodness, that really is orange in there. <laughs> Never mind, it's only temporary. Well, I'm going to get some water in there now. I was going to um, use the, the hang on the back filter that's on there, but um, that would mean I need the water level quite high above those rocks. I don't want to pile those rocks up either, not without like gluing them or anything like that. And that's what we're going to do for the, 
like a proper full long-term setup. So for now, I'm just gonna put a little internal filter that will just circulate the water a bit. Um, turtles aren't really like fish. They don't breathe underwater, they breathe out of water. They do eat their food in the water though, so we do need to make sure that it's clean. I'll be checking on that regularly anyway, just whilst I'm sort of designing and sorting out the other tank. Right, there we go. Like, it's quite cute, isn't it? <laughs> I've done that so there'll be like a little waterfall trickle. I'm gonna put some Anubius in the gaps so Timmy can't get inside of them all. I've got tons of it available, so I might as well use it. But first, I'm just gonna fill it all up. Right, so I've plugged it in, but it's doing this weird little sort of bubbly thing. That's because because I put it on its side, there's an air pocket in there. So I actually need to release that and then it should all just come out fine. So that's all the holes plugged. No doubt Timmy's gonna try and rip all of those out. But there's one thing missing from this tank that I know Timmy loves, and that is moss. Now I've got an absolute ton of it over here in the goldfish tank, look, I've taken this from a previous tank. We've got absolutely tons of it, so it's not gonna matter. I only really chucked it in here for water quality, and we've got them in with the endlers as well, look. So we've got some really nice endlers in here. We've got babies as well. Look at that male as well. The male is absolutely stunning. It's like real, real close to like a generic proper male endler, but uh, it's got a bit of a liar tail, but it's still awesome. So yeah, all I'm gonna do is just chuck the moss down in the middle here, try and sort of lodge it underneath a rock. Uh, Timmy is going to tear this up and it's going to be all over the place, but that's okay. We're just putting it there for some sort of like interaction for him, enrichment if you like, and he'll just enjoy making like beds out of it. So that's almost everything complete. What we do need though is a basking lamp. So it's, it's UVA and UVB combined. It's a very expensive bulb. We need to put that one on as well. Now the thing is the whole time I've had Timmy, I've not seen him bask more than like six times, but then he might do it just when I'm not there, he might be basking regularly. So we've got to give him that option. So that's the tank ready. It's not the prettiest, but it'll more than do the job. And it also means we don't have to rush now this next part, because I've got to take down Timmy's tank and I've got to move a few big tanks across to here. And then I'm done with that part of it, but there's stuff all over the floor, little things that just take time. Then I need a big clean up and I need to paint all of the walls as well and get it looking fresh like when I first went in there. I've only actually got five more days to be out of that building, so I need to hurry up. Um, but first of all, let's go get Timmy. Right, I just need a little jug to put him in. Is Katie everyone cleaning for me? She just came in and said it's not as disgusting as I thought. Timmy, the time has come. <laughs> there you are, come in then. Just gonna scoop up a bit of water, just a touch, only so he feels comfortable. Come in then. Oh, he's running fast, I need to put the camera down. Please don't be scared, buddy. He's so quick and he doesn't bite though, which is good. Or Timmy is very fast, but doesn't bite. It's quite a shy little fella or, or lass. <laughs> Go on then, in you go. Your new home or temporary home awaits. I've got Timmy. I know you love him. <laughs> People can't see you then? No. Kate loves Timmy. No, you can't put him in. Well, you, you can put him in, but don't put him in the water. Put him on a solid part. Yeah, so when you put turtles into um, their new tank, you don't just shove them under water because they need to be able to take a breath before they jump under themselves. You just put them to the side like that. 
and in any second he'll just go for it, he always does. He won't stay there too long once he realises that uh, he's in a safe place. Uh, any second now. Yeah, it's always like move. Well, it's nice that he feels completely comfortable. Normally they panic and try and hide instantly. But yeah, he warm. looks fine. Yeah, it's the because he's right by the heat lamp. Maybe of all times, he's now decided to go on a basking session. Now, Timmy's not much of a basker. The whole time I've had him, I've seen him basking like five or six times. It doesn't mean to say he doesn't. It just means that he doesn't usually do it when I'm about. As soon as he sees me, he normally jumps into the water and comes near the front. So he might do it when I'm not there. It might be interesting to set up a camera, actually, and uh, like a movement really camera. Timmy, you can go in there. Maybe, maybe he's just decided, oh, we'll just sunbathe for a little bit. Just gently touching his tail. Yay! <laughs> He'll go panic mode for two seconds and then he'll get comfortable and stay still. But there we go, look, all that moss that he can hide behind. He's already chilled. There we go, look at that. I'll feed him in a little bit as well so he feels even more comfortable. Right, me and Kate have just come back from a working lunch. Um, I don't just go out doing that with Matt. <laughs> no, she's <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh, we come back and, she, and Kate just said, oh, oh, Timmy is camera ready. Look at him, hang on. Bless him, look, so cute. Hello, do you, uh, where, I did just, oh, you got the food. So food wise for him, we've got some like uh, turtle pellets, but I also feed him these little like dried shrimpies and they absolutely stink. Okay, so open it quick and then close it quick. Get like four of them, four little ones. Look, he knows, look at him, he's so cute. There you go, oh, you can't see him. You can't see him, no, you didn't. Like, he's the derpiest thing ever. He will come up. It's obviously, it's a new environment for him, so he's not, like, too sure. In a minute, those will actually sink, but at the moment, they're just, like, dried, so they're not, they're not gonna sink at the moment, but they will do. There you go, do that. Okay, watch out a sec. I'll put this across, and then I'll flick it. Usually, it comes to the surface, you see, but oh, it's a new environment. Come back a bit, maybe. Yeah, let's give him a minute. He's not the cleverest, bless him. Actually, um, when I first put that orange sand in, I was like, I was like, it looks horrible. But but now, um, now it's all in there like that. He, oh, he's already ripped out the Anubius and destroyed the moss. But that's fine. That's why I put it in there. It's like interaction for him. He will do. And like that's only a 60 centimeter tank. But look, it's plenty big enough for him. So I have I've had an idea, guys. So you know how I said to you that I want to make Timmy like a centerpiece for the for the whole studio. Well, obviously I've got this massive long desk here. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be that long. I can half it, because obviously it's actually made up of two separate things with the white on top. So I can just cut that in half. And then I've got a 60 centimeter cube. Okay, so it's way bigger than the tank is in there. And he, oh, has he got it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll get to him in a second. But um, yeah, and I'm thinking I could have right in the center here an island that is just for Timmy. So it's like a 60 centimeter cube. You can see it all the way around. Timmy will be, be able to go all the way around it as well. And I'm thinking a big log in the middle, like a tree, and then like plants will come in at the top of it. So like a massive feature for the middle of the room. I think it'll work really well. And I think, you know, it'll be cool because I'll be able to see the Kate's laughing at Timmy. Yeah, so when turtles get food, they always try and run off with it and hide to eat it. That's what he's doing. Look, he's running back there. He keeps going around in circles there. He's trying to find his place because he's worried that um, sometimes when they try and swallow it, they let go of it, see? So he's trying to find... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Yeah, look at that. I remember when I first got Timmy, it was the size of my thumb now. Um, He's grown a lot, but nothing like the size of a proper fully grown musk turtle. He's a musk turtle, by the way. Loads of people don't ask that. But he's so cute. He's trying to find an area to he's go and eat. He's just running off. He doesn't know the location. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know where the safe bits are yet. It's nice for him to destroy the thing already, though, but that's just how they are. If you want stuff to stay in place with turtles, you've got to glue it. <laughs> he's just trying to find a safe place. If we just leave him alone for two seconds, look, and he'll just, he'll be fine then. He'll eat it. <laughs> so it's now another new day, and Timmy has, uh, He's rearranged everything even more, but he's very settled in and that's the main thing. So I made some adjustments to the tap. Oh, I've turned the light off, by the way, guys, because it makes it look a bit funny with, with how bright and sort of yellow it is. I've just switched it off for the time being. I've made some adjustments to Timmy's tank. Well, so has he, as you can see. 
It is kind of boggy though and cool. I really like that. Um, I like that he's interacting and doing what he wants. You can sort of see his path as he goes around as well. Um, so at the top here, I've added this rock as well so he can get right up out of the water if he wants to. It's uh, lodged in underneath the filter, just sort of holding it in place uh, just to make sure it doesn't slide off. It shouldn't do, it's quite a heavy rock, but uh, yeah, that's definitely lodged it. But where is Timmy? Well, there he is. <laughs> He's just peeking at us. Do you want some food? Do you want some more food? I know we've done the feeding thing once, but it's always cute to see you running around. Come on in, buddy. I got you your food. Come and get it, look. I'm just gonna drop it out. Hopefully he sees that, he should see it. Put another one there. Right, I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna leave the camera here. Okay, so I'm actually nowhere near the tank now. I'm stood right back having a look. There's, like you are, but obviously much further back. I don't know if he can see it yet, but I haven't done the tap. Let me do the tap, there we go. He knows the tap as much as the fish do. Go on then, Timmy, go get your food. Yeah, I'll put the camera back up again. I can just about see him there, look. <laughs> Peeking his little head over the top. And the other, here he comes, is he coming up? In the old studio, he used to come straight to the front whenever I was there. He was a lot more comfortable, but he's obviously he's still got to get used to this. That's what he can see right now. Those beautiful prawns. Go on there. <laughs> he's just peeking over the top. Come and take a look. Come and get it then. He can obviously smell it now. He's very, very interested in it. He's so cute, isn't he? He wants it. He wants it bad. You're so close, buddy. All you've got to do is that you can see there from the angle. Go on then. Go on then. A little bit higher. That's such a cool shot, isn't it? He looks massive there. His back legs, look, look at his back legs. He's like a dinosaur. <laughs> you got it, brilliant. And now we'll do that thing where he runs away. Are you? Are you being brave? You've been brave today? Come on, no, maybe. So um, turtles use the water to swallow their food because they don't have tongues. So that's why they always run away underwater. They've got to munch it, break it up, and gulp down water as they gulp down the food. I'll leave him to it. I don't want to disturb him anymore. Let me eat. So this is great and I'm properly pleased that we've got a nice area for Timmy, even though it's only temporary, because what I've got planned is gonna be so cool. I think it should look amazing. But whilst I was over in this area, I kept looking over at the new rainbow fish tank that was set up recently by me and Matt. And oh my goodness, it is just going from strength to strength. So the thing I'm noticing the most at the moment is the colors on the fish. Like they're literally popping like crazy. They're called rainbow fish for a reason and uh, they are demonstrating that nicely. The tank itself though has been set up for over a week now and it is like, it's crystal clear for a start. I mean, there's a slight haze actually, that's not true. Crystal clear as in there's no particles. There's a few air bubbles coming out now, but we'll, we'll let that go. Um, but the, the wood is releasing a little bit of tannins, but nothing that I can't handle. And it's recently just had a little water change. The first water change that it's had in over a, a week since it's set up. I've been testing every day. It hasn't needed a water change because we've got the filter down here that was running on it previously, which means that it's set up with the right amount of beneficial bacteria for the fish that we've got. So that's done the job perfectly. I just wanted to, to just freshen it up a little bit. So I did What's that gonna be? 20% water change, something like that? Just drained a little bit, filled up some fresh water. I mean, at the end of the day, the rainbow fish love it. So look at that. Oh, they look so good, don't they? And one of the things that I'm really liking is the lighting from Superfish. So it's more of a daylight color. So it is slightly on the sort of more yellowy spectrum than the blues that you get. But to be honest, with a tank like this, which I'm going for realism, I like that. So obviously it depends what you're after, but for me, that looks proper natural proper realistic. Do you agree? I think you, I think you will. Uh, and then if I look across over to Hiros, which to be fair, you can change the colouring rendition, but there is still always that slight sort of blueiness to it, but it, it's a different look, isn't it? 
a very nice look, don't get me wrong, but a different look nonetheless. This tank is now due its first trim 100%. I mean, look at the limb the feel at the back there. It looks great, but it's right at the top. And the problem is now is that there's some reds underneath there if the fish give me a chance to focus. There's some reds that they're gonna get sort of starved of light. So I'm gonna to have to trim that back. It's effectively a weed anyway. <laughs> so yeah, this is all so, so good. Like everything's going brilliant. All the tanks that we're setting up are almost perfect. I would say nothing's never perfect, is it? But uh, it's making me enjoy the process so much. So over the other studio, I've only got two tanks now, two tanks now left to bring across. I've got one four foot, like this one here, which is gonna sit next to that one by the window. And I've got a three foot tank as well, which is gonna go in this gap here. I'm gonna move this little sort of tiny one. Um, I will do something with it. I'm just not sure yet. I just, that space is better used elsewhere. There's so much more for us to do, which is why you need to do what? What, what you, need to, you know what you need to do. Click the subscribe button or the bell button, do it now, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>